Welcome to another room transformation. Today is the hallway transformation. I don't have any video clips of the hallway before, so this is from the first house tour video. So what I wanted to show you from this was this panel on the left hand side. This was just sheet MDF that I knew I wanted to get rid of and open the space up. So I got a joiner in and as you can see now, the first thing he did was cut the panel out. I wanted to keep the original handrail, so I told him not to cut the handrail up, but he cut out the um, MDF panelling and I wanted to replace it with black spindles, so that was the overall goal for the staircase. So this is what it looked like when it had been dismantled, so to speak. He kept these newel posts in but build them up and around. Um, and then after he had chopped the panelling out, he built up the newel posts, as you can see, and then attached the original handrail back on, which I was really glad to keep. And then he attached these black spindles, which I knew I wanted right from the start. I knew I wanted straight black spindles. I didn't want um, the ones with the swirly bits in. I just wanted straight black ones. I could have got circular ones, which was my original idea, but they were a heck of a lot more expensive. So these are metal black square spindles is what these are. So this was a bit of a learning curve here. I should have painted the wooden bit before, but I didn't really know what I was going to do with it first. So you can see this wooden bit that I'm painting at the moment. I definitely should have painted that white before he actually attached the black spindles, but I didn't really think about the process. That was definitely something in hindsight I should have thought about, but it was just one of those things that I've never done it before, so I just really didn't know what I was going to do with it. So I had to do a lot of taping up. Um, as you can see, that orange tape didn't really even work that well, so I had to, to go in with some uh, paint stripper afterwards. But the main thing is I painted that bit white. After we'd done the staircase, so to speak, it was time for the rest of the walls in the hallway. So the first thing I did was paint everything white. I didn't end up keeping all of the walls white. I knew I didn't want just white walls, but I had to take it all back to white. On the left-hand side by that light switch, as you can see, we had to re-plaster it because the electrician put some of the outside lights wires through that wall and it accidentally took off some of the plaster, so we had to replaster it. Anyway, so I wanted to take everything back to blank canvas and white, and it was this, I want to call it magnolia, but it really wasn't magnolia. It was just a very off-white, old cream color on the walls. So everything got painted white at first, and above the picture rails, as you can see, I kept it white throughout all of the rooms. So every room has got picture rails in, which I really like. I, I kept that as a sort of a feature from the old, old style of house. And um, everything above the picture rail, including the picture rail, has been painted white throughout the house. I also think that it helps to lift the room as well. Having that sort of strip of white around the top of the room, it lifts all of the ceilings and almost makes them feel taller than they are. And because this is not the biggest hallway in the world, I wanted to do as much as I could to make it seem bigger. And then as I was painting the landing, which, side note, <laughs> is really hard to paint at the very top of a ladder, and I still couldn't actually reach right up to the top, had to really stretch, and I'm 5'11", so I'm pretty tall. Anyway, so I eventually managed to paint all of the top bit above this picture rail white as well. And then after we'd painted the white, it was time for the fun colour. Now this is probably my favourite colour out of the whole house. And I get so many compliments on it from everyone that comes round. This colour is called Cancun and it's from Good Home at B&Q. And I think it's just my favourite colour ever. I think it works so nicely with the black spindles and the brass features that I've got in here. I just love it and I was really impressed that I picked it out myself. <laughs> 
A few things that I did off camera was paint those skirting boards, the stair skirting boards, and painted the windowsill there, painted the wooden panel above the windowsill, and also finished off all of the newel posts and did a good few coats on there. So just below where I'm rollering there, I kept that portion white because I wanted to keep it light because it's a little bit lower on your head, so I wanted to keep it nice and open. Once the beige colour was done on the walls, I painted the picture rails, which as you can see, the difference between the white colour there and the off-white colour it was before, so I just gave it a lick to um, really freshen it up. So this is what it looked like when I was sort of done with the decorating before we did the fitting out of the floor and that sort of thing, and I was really impressed with this colour. So here is what it looks like all done. This is something I am really, really pleased with. I've got a big mirror on the side to open the space up, the wooden floor is a light wood because I have just always known that I wanted a light wood floor. The runner is from Dunelm. I put a little shelf up just below the mirror which has got a diffuser and um, a bowl for the keys. I've just got this beige carpet throughout. We've got a new light up. I've got some coat hooks, which are an antique brass, which I think work really nicely with the beige color. We've got, you know, life things like a shoe rack. <laughs> but I'm really, really pleased with it. So this carpet I've got throughout the house. Um, I've gone for a relatively neutral theme, but I didn't want it to just be Magnolia throughout. And then this mirror is from Dunelm, and I think here you can really see the difference between the beige and the white, and I think it does really lift it. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, the black metal spindles I saw on Pinterest ages ago, even before I thought about buying a house, and it's always stuck with me. And I think I've sort of nailed the theme quite well, uh, because it is a small hallway, you can sort of see just how small it is from this angle. But I'm really pleased with it, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this shorter transformation, and I'll see you in the next transformation video. I've got an Instagram, uh, keep up with me there, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.